Shalom, Israel. Just want to uh, do a quick vid. Get your Brussels sprout game up. All right. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. You got more Brussels sprouts. You got to know how to pick them though too. Cause this is three three ninety nine for ten ounces. Then you got these ones right here at two ninety nine, twelve ounces. You got these joints right here. They 139. They little hit. You know what I'm saying? That's why they, they do it like that. They little hit. They good to get them if you want to cook them like the day of. But you can see like they seen better days, man. They be trying to skunk. Yeah, they be trying to like, you know. But yeah, I be uh, stacking, stocking up on the Brussels sprouts, man. You know what I'm saying? They high in calcium. Super high in vitamin C and folate and a lot of iron too And they got a lot of fiber and folate which is good for letting uh getting rid of some of that um Homocysteine in your body which is gas that produces in your body and it goes into your um It can go into your brain and later on manifest as a How would you say a, a brain disease like Alzheimer's dementia so you know you gotta actually eat foods that actually take that that releases those that homocysteine. But um, I sit on that man. Get your Brussels, get, get some Brussels sprouts, stock up, and you know what I like to do. I like to cut them in half. Uh, put a little oil, extra, extra virgin olive oil in the pan. I like to roast it. You know some garlic seasoning, proper seasoning. You know what I'm saying like. You, if, hey, everybody know I make I make some good ass Brussels sprouts. <laughs> yeah. I make some good Brussels sprouts. But try it, man. Matter of fact, they got a picture in the back. My Brussels, it, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. Make sure you got a little chocolate on both sides. All right. But you could also boil them. You know, wash them, boil them, season them good too. That's a good way to do it. But I like the roast mine. Other than that, shalom.